So if you follow the stock market at all, you know that this past week has been an interesting time, particularly with, with stocks like GameStop and AMC, two companies that are really struggling during the pandemic being traded and their stock price is going up. Hi, I'm Chad Boninger. I'm the business librarian at Ohio University Libraries, and I make YouTube tutorials for business researchers at Ohio University and beyond. One of the cool things about this, uh, these events of, of, of recent time is that we can look back on the history of this in six months, a year, five years from now, and remember what happened. Now, we may forget what actually happened and why, uh, how Reddit users actually drove the stock prices up, but we can use a database like Factiva to look at news from that day based on stock price and market volatility. This tutorial shows you quickly how to find the information in Factiva to see what was driving the stock prices based on the news of the day. So let's get into it. When you first launch Factiva, you'll be taken to the default search page. This is a great place where you can go and search for topics of interest, specific companies, industries, current events, etc. For the purposes of this tutorial, we're actually going to go up and look at companies and markets and click on company. We're going to look for a company snapshot to start and we're going to search for our company. We're looking for GameStop to start with. Our search takes us to this company snapshot, which is a great place to look for additional company information. You can explore this at your leisure, a great place to look for all kinds of financial information, news, all that kind of stuff for, for companies. For the purpose of this tutorial, we're going to go over here and click on this chart. It's not exactly intuitive, but if you click on it, it'll take you to another page with additional options. So this page, we can actually go in and change our date range. So if we wanted to look at uh, prices five years from now or six months from now, we can change that uh, however we want to. Over here on the right hand side of the chart, you can see we have stock prices as well as volume. If we go down to the volume for a particular day, we can actually click on that line right there. So what Factiva will do is it will search for news articles from that specific day. And we can use those news articles to figure out why people were buying and selling stocks and what was driving the price up or down that day. In this case, we can see that uh, from the top headline there, social media traders claim victory. So a year from now, five years from now, whatever, we'll be able to look back on this day and or this period of time and understand what was driving that stock going up and down. So a great resource to look at uh, how the news and what's going on with current events can drive stock prices and stock trading. So I hope you learned something here about how to use Factiva. If you're not a member of Ohio University and want to use Factiva, check with your local library to see if they have a subscription. Take care and good luck with your research.